Black people, one of the largest ethnic groups in the world, have a rich history that is documented even in the Holy Scriptures. Surprisingly, the Bible talks about the origins of the African people, including their melanin kings and queens. In this video, you will discover real-life facts about the biblical ancestors of black and African peoples. According to the Holy Scriptures, all current peoples of the earth are descendants of Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This also applies to all the black people and other ethnic groups with dark skin, whose Hamite lineage originates from Ham, one of Noah's sons. Ham is the brother of Shem and Japheth, who respectively represent the Semitic peoples of Arabs, Jews, Syrians, etc., and the Petites Europeans and Asians. The term Hamid or Amit originally referred to people descended from Khan or Rami, one of Noah's sons according to the Bible book of Genesis. After the flood, Noah and his three sons were charged with continuing the lineage of Adam and his father's descent with just eight people. Noah, his wife, their three sons and their three daughters-in-law. Humanity needed to start over again. Ham, one of the sons of Noah, is recognized as the ancestor of African and black peoples in the Bible. His name is always associated with Africa, and in fact the book of Psalms places him as the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians. It is interesting to note that in antiquity rabbinical traditions, ancient tales of the Jewish people and other ancient traditions, always identified him as the ancestor of African people. Furthermore, all interpretations of Ham's children point to African countries and regions of Africa and the African people. It is curious that the name Ham, itself in Hebrew, Aramaic and other ancient languages means burned or dark, in reference to the skin tone of his descendants. In chapter 10 of the book of Genesis, between verses 6 and 14, it is possible to obtain more information about the lineage of Ham, also known as the Hamite people. The text presents Ham's descendants Cush, father of several African peoples and also Mizraim, the father of the ancient Egyptians. It is important to mention that Arabs, Jews, Syrians and other peoples refer to Egypt as Mizraim, in reference to its originator. Other sons of Ham, are Phut also known as Phut, and Canaan who is the father of the Canaanites, not the Africans. It is essential to understand that Canaan represents a distinct region of the people. The sons of Cush include Havila, Sapta, Septica, Rama, Sheba, and Nimrod. At the beginning of his reign, Babel among other cities were part of his domain. Nimrod, who was an ancestor of the native peoples of ancient Babylon, the Sumerians, left for Assyria where he founded two or three cities. Furthermore, Mizrahi was the ancestor of the Luddites, who are North African peoples such as the Animites, Lahabis, Naphtrates, Patricids and Casualites from these descended the Philistines and pickpockets. Ham's firstborn son, Mizrahi gave rise to many nations and peoples including the people of Ethiopia. All Ethiopians are descended from Cush, as are the people of Nubia, also known in antiquity, as the Kingdom of Cush. These are the main nations and people. These peoples were spawned by Cush, son of Ham, the son of Noah. They are not limited to Cush and Nubia including the kingdom of Cush, the kingdom of Nubia and the ancient Sumerians. Nimrod, the rebellious son of Cush is considered the progenitor of the people of Samaria. Furthermore, the peoples of South India, including those native to the region are believed to be of Cush descent, as are many other Africans, such as Malians, Eritreans, Kenyans, Congolese and Bantus from Gabon. The term Cush is often associated with Ethiopia, Sudan and Africa in the Bible and its literal meaning is Ethiopia or black. Cush was also the father of Nimrod, Mizrahi, Seba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, and Sabteca. Mizrahi is considered the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians and many North. African peoples including the Berbers and the dark-skinned Tauregs. It is fascinating to note that all Semitic peoples such as the Aramaic Arabs and Israelites refer to Egypt as Mizrahi. It is designation is used in several ancient languages such as Aramaic, Arabic, and Hebrew. In the book of Psalms, chapter 78, it is mentioned that he smote all the firstborn in Egypt the firstfruits of manhood in the tents of Ham, 
besides Mizrahi. Kush also had a son named Fut or Fut. An interesting curiosity is that the name Fut or Fut originates from the word that means landmark and is a reference to tribal hunters in Africa. Fut is considered the father of the native black Libyans of Libya, as well as several other African people. Now, about the famous curse of Ham or Canaan, many people in antiquity misinterpreted the curse of Ham or Canaan, described in the book of Genesis, chapter 9 of the Bible. The text says that after Noah got drunk, his son Ham did not help him and instead told the other brothers that his father was naked and drunk in order to mock his father. But there is more than one interpretation of this text. But it is not the focus of this video. Noah placed the curse on one of the sons of Ham, specifically on Canaan. It seems like a lot of exaggeration on Noah's part. But at that time the relationship of respect towards the father was something almost sacred. Although, Noah is apparently wrong to be drunk in this way, interpretations of these texts suggest that Noah would have gotten drunk accidentally. Because when growing grapes, an act that had never been done before, he would have accidentally discovered wine and got drunk without knowing it. Hence why God did not punish him for drunkenness. It is worth mentioning that Ham and his other three children, Kush Mizrahi and Fud are originally from African people. It is also important to emphasize that the black peoples were not cursed, but Canaan, father of the Canaanites who inhabited the Middle East. It was he who received Noah's curse, not the African peoples. It is crucial to clarify that interpreting the biblical text as if African peoples had been cursed is a serious error and a false interpretation. The curse falls on Canaan, the ancestor of the Canaanite or Canaanite peoples. We know that Ham is the ancestor of all African and South Indian peoples and he lived a very long life, because he was born before the flood and even he enjoyed a much longer lifespan, being able to witness even the fifth and sixth generation of his family and ancestry. Interestingly, just as Shem lived to be approximately 600 years old, Ham also lived around that age or even longer. Although there is no precise confirmation of how old he lived, as the biblical texts do not mention. It is presumable that he reached the 600-year-old mark like his brother. It is not known for sure where Ham's tomb is located but according to some theories and studies, it may be in the Ethiopian region, or even in Nubia. Others claim that he is buried in Mesopotamia in the land of the Sumerians. However, many agree that Ham's tomb is in Africa more precisely in Sudan or Ethiopia. Some even suggest that he could be buried in Egypt, which is quite intriguing and interesting, since Egypt is a country full of mysteries and people buried three or four thousand years ago are constantly being discovered. The Book of Jubilee provides us with more information about Ham's old age and about events involving Noah's family and the three lineages, the lineage of Ham, the lineage of Shem, and the lineage of Japheth. This ancient Jewish manuscript which was believed to be true in the time of Christ, and even earlier, reports that Ham completely disapproved of his youngest son, Canaan's decision to dwell in the land of Shem, which is now known as Israel. He did not agree with the attitude of his son Canaan to take those lands for himself. In the Book of Jubilees, it is reported that Cush and Mizrahi, brothers of Canaan along with their father, Ham disapproved of Canaan's decision to dwell in the land of Shem, which is the region that today corresponds to Israel. Like Ham, they also showed disapproval of Canaan's attitude. They go to Canaan and order him to leave that land, as they believe that African lands are reserved for the descendants of Ham. However, Canaan disobeys and continues to dwell in that land, completely ignoring the will of his father and his brothers, Mizrahi and Cush. The Book of Jubilees relates that Ham was the founder of the first city and the first province after the flood. He named the city after his dear wife, Male Tamlach. A wife of Moses is referred to as a Cushite woman in the Book of Numbers 12 verse 1, but Zipporah, Moses' wife, is typically depicted as being from Midian. Zipporah begins by describing herself as a stranger in Midian and then goes on to describe the people who live in her ancestral territories in North Africa in Book of Ezekiel, the tragedians Exegogy 60-65, which says, Stranger, this land is called Libya. It is inhabited by tribes of various peoples, 
Ethiopians, dark men. One man is the ruler of the land. He is both king and general. He rules the state, judges the people, and is priest. This man is my father and theirs. Thank you for your support.